this is Patty Behan again and today I'm going to show you how to use Simon Hurley digital die cuts to make this beautiful Christmas card. All of Simon Hurley's photopolymer stamp sets have matching digital die cut files in SVG and PNG formats. You can purchase them on the rangerink.com website by searching for the stamp set of your choice and in the drop down menu choose the digital die cut option. I'll also be using some Perfect Pearl Simon Hurley ink pads and embossing. So let's get started. To begin, I cut out four of the Christmas bulbs using the digital die cut files and I cut out some extra just in case I needed them. And another great thing about these digital die cuts is you can use them as a stencil as well if you save the negative of the cutouts. So I'm using the Brilliant Baubles stamp set from Simon Hurley and I'm using this ornament right here and first I'm going to emboss the image onto my die cut. So I'm attaching it to the stamp block and I'm going to take our gray tinted embossing ink. This is a great embossing ink that's a light color so you can see your stamping after you put the image down. And this is our anti-static pouch, so I'm just going to rub that over top of the die cut. This has a powder in it that will help the embossing powder not stick to the paper. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the image, like so. And then I'm going to take it and put it on a scrap piece of paper and use gold embossing powder. And I'm just going to pour it over the top. And once that's done, I'm shaking off the excess and I'm going to put it aside. And you can use a brush to get any rogue embossing powder that didn't come off. And put the excess back into the jar. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp the rest of these. Again, use the anti-static pouch to remove the static from the paper. And then you're going to repeat by stamping the image, pouring the powder over top, and then continue on with each of these. Okay, and now I'm going to get the Joy to the World stamp. And I just love how these die cuts make everything look so streamlined. So again, I'm going to ink up the stamp very lightly. You don't need a lot of ink. And stamp it down. And then we're going to put embossing powder over the top of it again. Take off the excess. And now that we have everything stamped and the powder is on there, we can go ahead and heat emboss it to melt the powder. And I'm using a pair of tweezers just to hold it as I do it. And we're going to melt each of these ornaments. And last we're going to do the words. Okay, and now we're finished with that, and look how pretty that is. This is my favorite powder from Ranger, this gold embossing powder. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint these. And to do that, we're going to take the Perfect Pearls in Perfect Pearl, and we're going to make a paint with the powder using some water, and then we're going to use a paintbrush. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to paint the top of the bulb and I'm going to do this for two of them. So let me pick my favorites out of these because I'm going to cut these out. And I'm using the mini mister filled with water and I'm going to spray some water onto the craft sheet. And then once I get a puddle, I'm going to take a scoop of powder using this bigger brush here and put it into there. And I'm going to take the smaller brush and mix it all together to get my paint. I'm going to add a little more water. And there you 
have like a, a pearly watercolor. And I'm gonna paint the top right here. Just that one little bit, just to give it a little shimmer. And then I'll do the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I'm gonna get another color. And that's what it looks like. You can see that pearly shimmer. And now I'm gonna take the pink gumball and I'm tapping it on the table to get the powder to go to the bottom of the jar before I open it. Add some water to the craft sheet and then I'm mixing up the paint. And for this one, I'm gonna paint the inside of the ornament. And if your brush gets too wet, I'm just wiping it off because it's a small area. So you don't need it to be very wet. And then it'll kind of resist the embossing powder, which is a good thing about it. You don't have to worry about being really neat. So it looks like this. And then we're gonna set that aside. And then this is gonna be the background. We're layering these ornaments. And so I wanna take another one and I'm painting the background of the ornament in the pink gumball. And then this one looks like that. Such a pretty, vibrant color, I love that. And now I am taking the turquoise and I'm cleaning out the brush here. And I still had a puddle of water and I'm adding the powder and making my paint. We don't want it too watery on the brush. And then we're gonna paint the inside of this one. I need a little bit more powder. It's a little bit watery. Yeah, that's better. You can see the difference there. And this blue is a little more subtle. It's still bright, but when I bring it close up, you'll see it better. And then I'm blotting it because it was a little wet. See? See how pretty that is? And now we're gonna take this other one here and we're gonna do the outside in the blue, in the turquoise. And once that's done, it looks like this. And now we'll take these again and we're gonna cut out first the top portion of the Christmas bulb. And we're gonna cut right outside the gold line. And you're gonna cut that little loop off as well. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the blue part that we painted of this ornament. Again, you're cutting around the outside of the gold line. And then you're gonna repeat the same thing for this one. You're gonna cut out the top and then cut out the pink portion. Okay, and once that's done, I'm gonna move all these pieces out of the way here. And now we're gonna attach these together. And we're gonna put the blue one on the pink and the pink one on the blue. And I'm going to use letter it adhesive foam just to give it some dimension. So I'll cut a small piece and I'm gonna attach this part right here. I'll put another piece. And same on this one. And these 
small pieces go on the top. So once you attach that, it looks like that. It has a nice little layering effect. And then we're attaching the other piece onto the blue Christmas ball. And put the top part on there as well. Okay, now that that's done, we're ready to go on to the next thing. I have a piece of letterit cardstock that's trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna take the Simon Hurley Prom Queen dye ink pad and I'm going to color the top half of this on a diagonal. So I'm going to ink up the foam on the mini applicator tool and I'm going to start off the edge and I'm just going to color the whole thing on a diagonal. And I'll keep going back and forth until I get full coverage of color like so. And now I'm taking Clear Skies and I have another mini ink blending tool. I'm going to put some ink on the foam and I'm using a piece of um, paper towel to put my hand on the pink portion so that I don't get ink all over. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the blue ink to cover the bottom half. And then I'm going to go back and forth until I get it blended the way I like it. I'm going to try to get that crease a little more blended. Okay, and then once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to see where I want to place my bulbs. And again, I'm putting the pink bulb on the blue and the blue on the pink, just for some contrast. And then I'm going to stamp the um, string with this stamp right here. And keep in mind that this ink is still wet. I'm not going to dry it because I'm, I'm going to emboss this and you might get a little sprinkle of gold on the outside of the string, but I think that'll give it a nice glowy look. So. I'm not going to worry about it being dry. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to place the string. And I'll ink it with my tinted embossing ink again. And just double check to make sure I'm getting it in the right spot. And I'm going to stamp it. And that looks good. And this ink stays wet for a little while, so I'm not going to put the embossing powder on just yet. I'm going to do the other side and stamp that right there and then move those out of the way. And there you can just barely see where the stamped image is. Now I'm going to go get the gold embossing powder and my scrap sheet of paper and pour the gold over the top. And then take off the excess and you can use a brush to get some of it off. And like I said, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a hint of the powder still left there, but I'm, I'm still going to leave it there because I think it'll give it a little halo effect, which will be nice. Okay, now we can use the heat tool to melt the embossing powder. Now you can see, I think that looks kind of nice. So just gives it a little more pizzazz. Okay, and let's clean this up. And now we're gonna go back in with the Perfect Pearls and we're gonna make a paint again. And what I'm gonna do is make a wet paint and like splatter that on the background of the card here. So pouring out some powder and I'll get my mini mister with water. And then I'm just tapping the brush to get little flecks of the pearl paint. And that just gives a little something special to the background. 
I'm heat setting it just to dry it quickly, but you don't have to do that. Okay, and I'm just checking to see what it looks like and to see if I need to add any more. But I think that looks good. So now we're ready to attach it to our card here. And to do that, I'm going to use the letter it adhesive tape. And I'm not sure if this is dry all the way, but just so you don't have to sit there and watch paint dry, so to speak, I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive onto the back of this. And then just put it in the center like so. And then we're going to attach the Christmas bulbs with the adhesive and I'm not popping these up because we already have the layered die cut on top so I'm just attaching it flat and then the last thing is I'm going to add the words and for this I am going to add some foam tape on the back just to raise it up a bit and there you have it a beautiful card and I just love how streamlined those digital die cuts make the card look. So I hope you'll give this a try and you can find a full supply list in the link down below and also don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.